all huge abnormal withdrawals and uh, I will not go to the details of the withdrawals I'll just uh, uh, consolidate the withdrawals uh, we'll unpack them a little later uh, in the month of November I there was a, a, a withdrawal of 46 uh, thousand 46 million rather uh, uh, Kenya shillings in December 41 and in January of uh, uh, 20 million <clears throat> so in record three months uh, Sierra County through impressed had withdrawn a uh, total in excess of 100 million and um, the evidence uh, I have adduced is in DG4 page 6 to 75 and we can look at that a little later during cross-examination. <clears throat> I want at this point uh, to uh, refer you back to the uh, video that was shown a little earlier um, by, uh, on, uh, where the CECM for Finance and Economic Planning was talking about having withdrawn 65 million between November and the month of May. I think it is uh, uh, economical with information there because on the same breath he says that uh, they froze the pet, uh, impressed account in the month of April. So they could not have withdrawn from November to May because April it was frozen, May it was frozen. So that 65 must have been from uh, November to March. Uh, Chen committee, uh, upon noticing these huge withdrawals from the impressed account, I summoned uh, uh, Mr. Jaco Dinga to come and explain for me these withdrawals. And um, he was a little cagey, but eventually um, uh, explained uh, the nature and the reason for the withdrawals. And that the withdrawals were supposed to be financing uh, government operations, which was really uh, political statements, uh, government operations. <clears throat> I raised the issue with the governor, and the governor declined knowledge of these withdrawals, and uh, at that point uh, I did not uh, pursue it further, and uh, I knew that since I had already uh, raised it, it was not, not going to be an issue anymore. Unfortunately, in the month of uh, December, that position still obtained. In January, the same withdrawals continued. So, um, first, I, I felt a bit frustrated, uh, Chair and Committee, uh, because uh, when I raised them uh, with the uh, governor in November, I had expected some, you know, sanctions, and uh, that, that did not happen. So, um, in the month of um, February, um, I need to also give some background around my relationship with Governor. We had a fairly intimate, fairly close uh, relationship uh, the first three months. Uh, when I raised these issues in November, uh, uh, there was some level of disengagement. Uh, I noticed that um, that relationship was, we were drifting apart uh, in uh, December, and then in January, our communication had somewhat completely reduced. And then in February, uh, Governor, without uh, consulting me, as used to be the practice, and um, ignoring expert professional advice from his CCM for finance and planning because he had suggested names and persons uh, that needed to be uh, transferred to finance. And Governor uh, completely ignored that. And I, 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 have, I have shared with the committee uh, the communication and the evidence. And, you know, uh, in one clean uh, sweep, transferred three individuals back to finance and these individuals were under investigation on account of the theft of the 600 million and 400 million. I noticed uh, the previous speakers before me, the witnesses, uh, no one has been talking about the 400 million but uh, Chair and Committee indeed, uh, the county of Sierra uh, had uh, the great misfortune of having lost uh, 600 million 
and 400 million besides the uh, current graft in, in our administration.